open the gate and let our guests in. Why not? This doesn't look like a trap at all. This is perfectly fine. Come on! We won't even touch you! Unless you really ask for it. Mm, I don't like this, but there is no other way. If we don't get out of this desert, we we're as good as dead. Good luck, Artyom. If the deal goes out, I'll... Well, I'll do what If I, I fucking hear one more word about that bitch girl! There's too many of them to count. Go around them stinkers and just get to the next floor. Even some women. Baron's quarters are probably at the top. Because he takes so long. You must be one of the dream game. Just you take a fucking look at the beauty of it. Fucking fly in the flock. Well, you just fucking pull it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I want to start a fight here. I imagine that would go very poorly. I knew slave was not on purpose. Well. Master's water. Go give her a lesson. Forgive now. me, Uli Mirsa. I You're a dog! Shut the fuck Less up! Less than a dog! <laughs> the water is for people! Ah, you for the master! If I you punch this guy. Hey, I really you. want to punch him. Get your ass over here! Yes, Uli Mirsa. Throw this piece of shit out of here! Throw it away! With you. The boss don't like rage. Right now! Okay, I... I... I would love to beat the shit out of that guy, but I think that would probably end for Uh, we got some titties. Gotta, gotta respect the women. Did you come from afar? Gotta respect the ladies. You're the one to see the boss? Come on in. Don't waste boss time here. I'm going in. Thanks for just inviting me straight through. Ah, yes, more titties. <laughs> Did you expect a different reception? <laughs> I mean, they did say that he likes women. Here we can talk without the masks. I trust everyone present implicitly. You find it weird. Not really bothered by your little mischief. Well, you see, this world is a harsh and chaotic one. Sorry, I'm married. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it, without which there is no hope for something better in the future. And with no hope, you can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyor to that, me. Yeah, that's what I was gonna guess. Bring her to me, and we all win. I am Gyor. You will have your fuel. Is that Gyor right there? Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now what? Gyor has come for you! You'll answer for everything! Was that guy about to shoot me? I knew Gil was about to make a random appearance, like right now. From the other side, the coward. Do you think I'm a fool? You didn't want to see it. Now you will all die, starting with you, Gil. Kill them. Are these like the developers? Artyom, get ready. We must kill these dogs. Okay, I can do that. 
Oh shit, nice shot. She's got this handled. Shooting. Shooting's going on. Guy like right next to me. Yes, it is. Yes, you're very hit. Why doesn't he speak anymore? Artyom, I'll go in before that dog runs away. I'll catch him and open the door for you. Okay, how are you planning to go in? Hold on. Ah. Climbing around, okay. Probably could have done that before everybody started shooting at me, but who am I to judge? Where are you going, you windbag? That's not good. I I got stuck on something. <laughs> Crap. Hello cat. Let me move the mouse for you. I'm just gonna throw a Molotov on this guy as soon as he opens the door. Where are you going, you windbag? I missed. I missed again. That's not good. That's not a good sound. Shit. That guy killed me much faster than I was expecting. not miss all of our shots here. Where are you going, you windbag? There you are. I wish I could climb up here. Uh, did the big guy die? I think he's dead. Uh, you both dead? How about no? This gun takes so long to reload is the problem. Is that another big gun guy? Unfortunate. I'll find you in a minute, don't you worry. You 
heal, heal. Oh, Jameer's here. plan Gule was talking about. What the hell is going on there? Get out of there! I'll send people to cover your retreat! The door is giving! Let's give it a shot, Artyom! Okay. Come on, Artyom! I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I was looting. You want to the end in your world with this? Not half of it. You're misguided at the time. I caught her. Take the Baron. It's the longest who survives. Okay. Nice shot. Gate open. Booking the tank up. You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Well... Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. Hi, Demir. I was trying to not lose you. I don't know what I did wrong. My love, I was so worried. Fanatics on the banks of Volga, cannibals in the mountain bunker, slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves, and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Kyul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster? The inertia of thought that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. How sweet. long ago and it still persists probably smoking maybe that'll help you a little bit what does crest even smoke it's terrible in any case i'm better now i hate to interrupt guys but uh, you should come to the mess hall the table is almost served thanks stepan we'll be there in a moment 
Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in, and from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much, but I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after Mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone. Took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter, and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over Mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going, not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, so what are they? Higher rank, he could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next, sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot, build a sand castle for the kids. I thought you hated I'm imagining the sand. two, a boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go, and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. Duke used to have one. Damir, another. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. Sweet. I wonder what would have happened if I just got up and walked like as soon as they gave me the option to. There's no option to give her give her a hug. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. Okay. Bye bye. Are those the postcards that I've collected? The postcard I've collected? So 
sounds like there's a celebration going on. 